Hi everyone, Schoolhouse Intuitive Tarot. I'm here to do a Libra reading. This is going to be for around the 8th to the 14th of January, 2024. All Libra placements and cross watchers, of course, are welcome. So let's go ahead and get a few Oracle cards. Please remember these are general, not personal readings. You will not resonate with everything I say. Your first card out, Libra, is patience is needed. Okay, this is about timing. This is making sure you're not rushing anything. Um, if things do change, you know, being able to adapt, be flexible. This is having patience so that um, when you have planted something, you can uh, you can allow it to grow in the, in the necessary time that it takes. Uh, we, we can't rush certain things. So there's that. But then you also have leadership here about being on the forefront front we have that nice big cat energy i love talking about certainly leo energy could be significant so this is about you having the opportunity to take the lead it could be work personal family it could be really be any aspect of your life but this is about not necessarily playing it safe right it's like shining your light and speaking your truth and not letting anything or anyone silence that these are noisy cards but they are they are lovely so i'll try to hold them a little bit away from the mic all right, so you have, oh, a King of Cups. All right. So, you know, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, you'll see there's a ship here in the background. This is someone who's in touch with their emotions. They're in touch with, they're also grounded though, right? Um, this is somebody, it is a very stable energy. This could represent, you know, a counselor, a therapist. This could be, this is also someone who's very much in a, a leadership position and they're also intuitive as well. Um, they may not always show their feelings um, completely, but they have genuine um, uh, intentions typically, okay? So that's that's also kind of a theme here coming up this week, it looks like about uh, maybe some purification as you're on the forefront or making sure your intentions are clear. You also have the Empress in reverse. Yeah, so again, meaning to make sure you're in that flow. And this one, this is in reverse, the Empress. This is your energy, Libra, also Taurus. It does remind me that um, it, it is important to really take care of yourself. Maybe you do need to spend more time in nature, but for for whatever's you know going on, it's it's about um, not forcing things, and it is about realizing your your true power. Okay, Libra, and um, and and you know the Empress possessing all the energies of all four queens here. It's a very resourceful energy. So when this card is in reverse, that's when I kind of ask as a reader what is out of balance here, you know, um, and where, you know, and are the resources being, uh, well cared for? In other words, you're your biggest resource and are you taking care of yourself? <laughs> so next we have the tower. Mm. I feel as though, um, something could strike you as odd this week. There could just be some sort of revelation or something and that was the word that I'm hearing clairaudiently is odd. There's something striking you as odd were the exact words. So I'm not sure, you know, what this is going to be for each of you. These are general readings, you know, they're not going to all resonate with all of you, but, um, hmm. I'm hearing something right now about a hero's journey and like a loss. I'm getting Scorpio energy as well. So it does make me feel as though someone's journey could be coming to an end with that sort of Scorpio energy. I'm thinking of the death card. It reminds me of transformation. It does remind me that things were just, if we something could not, no matter how much you tried possibly, it just didn't work. I could be picking up on a previous situation or something occurring around now. Um, you know, time is fluid, but, but this is something like it, it's with that tower always comes that opportunity for growth with the death card always comes that opportunity for a new day dawning. Right. Um, okay. And then there's the nine of wands. Mm, it's like, I don't know if some of you have hung in there just too long with something. Um, and you're kind of sick of it, maybe, you know, possibly some of you. And some of you are going to choose because, I, you know, y'all have free will final say. Your intuition knows better than I do. You get to decide what <clears throat> you're going to do, <clears throat> pardon me, with this, with this um, opportunity to start over or to continue on the path. So, you know, this does show me this nine of wands, fire energy here. It does show me kind of a, um, an energy of, this person in this card gives off an energy of contemplation. I don't always get that with this card, but it's sort of like they're taking a pause here. They're taking a pause to figure out, um, 
I get that they're facing what's in front of them right now. So whatever's going on, they're facing what's in front of them. And there's certainly an element of, again, patience here, uh, patience needed, right? And also uh, it's been, a, it's been, you know, a lot of mental stress, but look, the person is still totally upright, good posture, still going strong. You have the three of pentacles. Um, so now you have three and three. All right, that 33 could be of significance to you. Um, I'm thinking that um, this could also be uh, re like sort of um, something was very carefully laid. Let me see what happens here. Like very carefully laid plans and then what? There's something about uh, someone's emotions maybe getting in the way here. I just heard blast from past. I hope it's not some sort of past energy maybe that's still, you know, affecting the present. We go from the three to the four. Okay, there is some progress here. There could This could actually be implying that a collaboration or a partnership of some kind did not work, or perhaps you are feeling very scrutinized for something. Um, and just underappreciated in general. This tower is, is, a, is it lends itself the time now to reflect on something. When something ends, usually there is sort of a rest period before starting something new. But I want to see what else we get, though. Okay, yeah. So, so it's, it, I mean, it's, it's seeming as though you are being careful, though, and you're giving it appropriate time and thought, um, and then moving on to something that has been a lot of you, it looks like you are, you have chosen to move into something new, even if you're not necessarily sure what's around those, um, those mountains here, you know, with the eight of cups here and then the empress in reverse, again, I'm getting that message about really, um, sort of having had to adapt and maybe you've tried something so many times, um, or right now, whatever's happening, it's going to like cause you to have to be flexible. Uh, in in some big way, really, because you have a couple of um, major arcana cards. Um, I hardly ever will see the Empress in reverse. So when I do, it it really is it, it it grabs my attention. And then seeing it with the with the tower here too, it could be something that you thought was going to be very um, uh, fruitful, if you will, and then it just it wasn't, and it can leave you kind of a little bit baffled. Um, perhaps. So let's see what we get. Yeah, but it's like standing your ground, not backing down still. So there's a lot of defensive energy here. I don't know if someone else has put you on the defensive. If you're feeling like you really need to step back here with that four of signs, uh, swords and go within. Um, let's see though, overall. Okay. Yeah. There's something that was not quite shown to you again with this, uh, moon card. I, you know, a lot of you could have intuitively received signs because as I was putting this card down, I wanted to say um, signs. And so I'm wondering if you're getting signs, subliminal messages, that sort of thing. If you could actually be getting with a two of pentacles here on the bottom of the deck, you could have been getting a mixed signals from somebody or like you were just, again, this is, this is indicative of trying really hard to make something work. They're giving me this... Um, I was told flip the deck right in the middle and you have surrender denial. So this is accepting people in situations exactly as they are without denying the difficulties. Yes, that, that goes along with these cards energies too. So this is, you know, seeing things clearly and then making the best decisions. You'll see this person has a uh, white on They're pure, you know, their intentions have been pure. Um, maybe there is going to be some sort of purification. I just heard something about something being mixed. So you're nixing something maybe in your atmosphere that's going to really affect your environment or you, your inner or outer environment. So um, I heard something too just now about between worlds. So some of you could feel, you know, a really, really strong connection right now to, well, they just told me Gemini, but um, it could be uh, communicating with the divine as well. So um, it certainly does not have to be a Gemini, but for some of you it is, and that's, uh, it could be even a past thing, I'm not sure, but, but there's clarification that's needed here before, um, it's like seeing things for what it is clearly, um, and keeping that at the forefront, letting, letting the truth lead, letting, um, letting, I don't want to say fate lead, but 
it's sort of like giving it up to to the universe or to god or whatever your beliefs are it's sort of just like kind of again fully accepting there's an element of surrendering here um but i'm hearing some of you want to make things work you still want to make this work okay let's see i'm getting okay so we have we're hiring job search so for some of you it is a job search you will have other opportunities um you could have actually received a you know a message saying you know we're sorry we aren't hiring now we went for someone else but there's another there's something else coming in okay so this is like again connection it could be a a connection to spirit um it could be a connection to uh, uh networking like uh, someone you know using your connections that sort of thing uh, you know again in these readings it's gonna it's gonna mean so many different things to different people but i just heard emberly or em ember and something about it's possible to lose focus so it's you know, to keep maintain this two of pentacles, we we do have to have that focus. You know, it's focused attention and focused intention. Focused intention is something I talk about a lot here, um, but with, especially with certain cards. The two of pentacles is one of them. The chariot is another one of them, um, and there are others. But but there is something about. Oh, I just heard there's wiggle room. Have you left yourself wiggle room? Make sure whatever you're getting into, you've left yourself some wiggle room. All right, not holding too tightly on to something. I want to get um another deck here just for a moment um where is it it has a very stunning back of the card i'm not seeing it um did i leave it let me go sorry <laughs> this doesn't normally happen here we go here it is all right so i just wanted to get you um another card here about uh it's just another oracle card let me just see there's something here there's a few pieces i want to know more about okay so you have Oh, wow, there's a lot here. So these are all coming out together. So this is like embracing change, trusting divine timing, and being perceptive. This is exactly what we've already talked about. Okay, so this is, yep, accepting things fully for what they are, not denying truths, trusting in divine timing. As I said, you're surrendering, giving it up to the universe. You have timing on this card here. And then there's your perceptive. When you have the moon card, yeah, things are going to, things that were once hidden could certainly be brought out into the light of day. Um, and this is something about, I'm, I am very much getting, um, you know, either you're going to witness this with somebody because there's very much a witnessing here. It's as though you're witnessing something play out, um, whatever that means. Some of you, um, for some of you, it's, I'm just going to say it, this message right now I'm receiving for someone is don't put all your, um, energy into this until you know for sure, because you could get hurt or disappointed. All right. So you can change your thoughts. You can redirect your energy. Maybe there's been a lot of focus on this one thing or person it's like this certain way. I'm not saying give up on dreams. That's not the message at all. It's this one particular thing. Having it play out exactly as you're dreaming of. It may not happen. At least not yet. Okay. But to go forward with courage anyway. Okay. And it's okay. Definitely. You know, it's okay to be ho hopeful. This keeps coming up. It's like fine being hopeful and, you know, staying positive to manifest what you bring about, you think about what you think about, you bring about. But it's also at the same time, Libra, fully accepting people and situations exactly as they are without denying any sort of red flags. Um, if this is a relationship or even a job opportunity, if something, if you feel you have this opportunity for, you know, this, this new uh, position or opportunity of any kind, I keep saying opportunity, um, make sure that um, the excitement doesn't blur your vision, okay? This is what it, this is what it is. Um, so you may actually want to seek some advice. This is about not being afraid to admit when you need help, when you don't see something, maybe when, when you just need another set of eyes or someone else to witness this um it doesn't make you helpless it makes you human all right so this is understanding that sometimes we do need need help in order to move forward or see something a little more clearly all right so huh 
Well, I want to get another card here. What sort of other information do I need to know? Gifted. This is uh, about connection. So you keep getting another word, connection, connect. Okay, that's coming up. So I'm naturally able to perform extraordinary tasks. Yeah, and it's beautiful. Looks like mm, cherry blossoms or something here. Maybe that means something to you. Cherry, the name Cherry or Cherry Street or something. Um, what else do we have? Insurance here. We can't insure, ensure, right? We can't ensure everything. Uh, get insurance for things you can in a very practical sense. You know, make sure you're insuring things and renewing that and all that. A lot of insurance runs out at the new year. Make sure you're covered. Um, there's that. But there's something about um, like a transformative sort of a... <clears throat> I'm going to need a different deck for this, I think. There's, yeah, there's, so, so here's hope here. Okay. That's not what I'm, that's not what I'm picking up on, but, but this is, you know, here's the message for this manifesting desires, miracles. Um, this is about asking yourself, what do you truly desire? We've talked about that though. Um, this is about you having that power to manifest. I'm very much getting, um, two, two big messages for you here. I'm getting one where it's like, you have to be doing two things simultaneously. It's on the one hand, you, but the hands are like this. They're holding each other. On the one hand, it's being hopeful, knowing you have this incredible power to lead, to manifest, um, you know, surrendering to the unknown with the eight of cups and, and just that not knowing in life that we can always count on, you know. Um, and then there's this other side of, but don't fool yourself or don't be tricked. So moving along in positivity, you know, optimism, but then also if something pops up, make sure it's addressed and not just brushed aside because you're trying to maintain positivity or something. Okay, so that's a general message there. Um, I wanna get uh, this empowerment card for you though and see what we have here. All right, this is a cool deck too. I'm using a lot of new decks for you on purpose. Check them out in the description box. Uh, I don't sell any decks or anything, but I just love new decks and to share them with viewers. Embrace divinity. I am a love child of divinity, reality and a love story written for me. It's already been written. I sit silently and experience the loving embrace from my eternal mother. I store up the words of affirmation on my ageless father. The tender words that spoke my consciousness into existence become me. All right, so I agree and not so much agree with the wording of this card. Um, not all of us have mothers and fathers, um, but I think that's more, it's coming more of a, uh, from a, a spiritual sense, all right? So it's not meant to be taken, taken literally, all right? But this is realizing that you are deserving of love the other thing that is you know it's saying that you know this reality the love story has already been written for you i feel that we actually have control over some aspects and that you know um now it's again that's like a religious debate here right i'm not trying to get into that but but um it's not necessarily that something's already been written for you you do have control over um certain aspects over a lot i feel like i feel that um <clears throat> I know I was destined to be a teacher. I just know that ever since I was tiny, I was teaching. I was learning to read, uh, you know, and, and so that I could teach others. Everything I learn, I like to teach it. So I became a teacher, obvious, right? Great. Um, but it, I had to face the reality that how that's going to go, come about in time is going to look different. So although, yeah, it's been in my heart all this time to be a teacher, um, I've stepped away from public school teaching, for example, because my time there was done. Now I teach Reiki, I teach, um, you know, I coach and stuff like that too. So it's, it's just different, you know, um, but it's, it's sort of, again, it's like knowing there's a big plan, but realizing you have control over the details. So again, it's like having this hope, this optimism, but then realizing that, but you are in control of managing all of it along the way all right so there there's this journey but then you're you're um you're very much part of the journey and you do have decisions that 
I feel will lead to some this nine of cups kind of overall feeling of fulfillment because it is you sort of like taking control of um and somebody if you find these messages triggering please you know click off um again these aren't going to be for everybody so um there's that uh, there's lots of channels but anyway i hope you're enjoying this uh the nine of cups that satisfaction that fulfillment this is really uh feeling good about you know where you are with your decisions where you are in life and uh, feeling proud when you look back at whatever this could be whatever this kind of thing where it looks strength in reverse yeah where your strength is tested here your strength your patience could definitely be tested this week you know it does happen but when i have the empress and the strength card in reverse it does make me think about um make sure you're having compassion and you're not being um you know uh, it's like you're seeing the, the real risks in something and taking it again for what, what it is. Right. Um, but, but you're, um, but you're still, you still, even a strength card or an empress card in reverse has that, that just that, uh, overall meaning of the upright card too, where it's maybe just less of it though. So like you are strong, but you could really be feeling it being tested or maybe some of you are like, I'm tired of always having to be strong though, you know? And so I'm looking for that, um, that sort of, you know, when that, when you can be nurtured, right? Cause an empress in reverse could mean that you need to be nurtured. Um, strength in reverse could be that you need someone strong or you need that supportive role. Okay. Um, and again, that's about being human, not being helpless or weak. Okay. So uh, interesting message this week so far. And then on the bottom of the deck, I do have the sun though, which is wonderful to see. And underneath it, you have the ace of swords, 10 of swords. We talked about that death. These are the cards, you know, I talked about these. Um, I talked about them. So, but then you have the stability here, something you love coming in, the 10 of cups, three of cups. I mean, so it's all like happy moments coming in, but, but I guess I could have just flipped those cards in a nutshell and been like, yeah, you're going to, you know, there's could be something, um, ending um with the death card there's certainly a transformation there's you know something could hurt you could find some sort of disappointment unfortunately with the sun and the moon i love seeing them together because it is like whatever was hidden is now not it's in there it's in the light and now you can release it um the death and the transformation I, you know i always call it the transformation card but again i talked about it earlier scorpionic scorpion scorpio energy and it's um it's about that that new dawn of day, the new beginning, cause for celebration here. There's an element here of teamwork, and then I have the seeks advice on top of it. So do seek out, you know, friends, relatives, loved ones, people you trust if needed. You don't have to do this alone. There, there's going to be that clarity though, that breakthrough. That I feel as though there's something, some kind of truth will come out. All right, <clears throat> I felt that very early on here with the with this tower, um, and. The Ten of Cups, great. You know, something you love is going to come in. Uh, give it time to mature and develop, though, with these, with the Ten of Cups surrounded by the Knight of Cups and the King of Pentacles. It's like it's going to take time to progress, I feel. Um, and just kind of, you know, again, hanging in there. And maybe also this this reading very much is, is kind of indicating we're not going to extremes this week. Um, and not that you are. I mean, and I'm also a Libra, but anyway... Um, it's it's not about like all or nothing necessarily it's about again maybe you were meant to do something you feel it at your core but you just have to tweak the plans you have to tweak the details maybe a little bit i want to get let's see <clears throat> health so some situations that need resolution will be resolved and healed <clears throat> so this is about um replenishing your own energy and fully energizing to prepare for what's next all right. Um, and that goes along with the health card and the empress and needing to be taken care of or maybe take care of yourself rather than taking care of everybody else. OK, um, whatever's going on this week, too, it could affect your confidence in some way. But with the king of pentacles, it's a very solid, very solid energy um, and someone who's very resourceful and tactful, uh, very mature energy. Um, so it's. It is about, you know, manifesting something that's not quite, it's not quite baked yet, okay? <laughs> it's not quite, it hasn't quite, the cake's a little raw in the middle, it hasn't had time to rise yet, right? So, 
giving it that adequate time, seeing things for what they are is one of the messages this week. So this is student, okay, working with a mentor to learn new skills or teach you how to implement your plans. This is teaching yourself to succeed with money. This is getting uh, financial advice or whatever it is you need, okay? You could be pursuing something, um, you know, online or otherwise where you're learning. Um, it doesn't even have to be, um, I, at the very least, I'm feeling like a, a just like taking care of you're taking care of responsibilities this week. OK, um, I mean, I'm getting, you know, entrepreneurial energy for sure. Speaking of which, let's get you a couple of cards on that. So you have card 25 brand style guide. And there's a quote here by Debbie O'Connor, White River Design. Humans will identify with things they're familiar with. The aim of the game is to create a connection that resonates with your customer so they feel an affinity to the brand. Yeah, so this is about your personality shining through in your website, your channel, your, um, you know, your social media, um, your blog, your newsletter, whatever it is you're doing, your storefront. Um, this is about, you know, using uh, some sort of like styling guide or, you know, even getting professional input on that um, to make sure that, you know, what you want to be communicated is communicated and what you don't want in there isn't coming across the wrong way, you know? So, you know, even things like color, font, uh, logo, obviously your, um, you know, how you come across, how you speak. Like if you're talking about, um, you know, meditation for example and you're talking about this you know that's you know people might feel a little stressed out and they came to you because they want to learn about meditation which is a relaxation technique you know so that's just a funny example but um and then there's also pivoting yeah this this could be the theme of the week pivoting so this is changing your mind it should be something admirable not embarrassing like just because something doesn't work out or you missed a red flag or you I keep getting that like you might really just kind of see the truth of something and be like oh how did I not see that or just try not to if you can try not to you know beat yourself up about that um so Mark Manson here from uh well mind well, I'll show it to the camera because I can't say it out loud but Okay, and then um, in case of fire, pivot is what it says. All right, so if you're doing what, you know, fundamentally isn't working, then change your strategy, right? Um, most successful companies had lots of starts and failures, lots of starts, failures, you know, or they tried businesses before and they didn't work out. And then finally, you know, no, lucky number seven or something works out. So um, is your current strategy working? Is it time to give it up? You know, what are, what are you uh, thriving in and your, what, what's going well in your current environment and what's, what's not? And you know, what sort of resources can you utilize? So can you test things out before committing, including if this is about any sort of relationship, how to test it out, um, uh, maybe on a deeper level before actually committing to moving in together, for example, maybe stay a couple weeks at each other's place and see how that goes. And then, you know, share a bill or two. That'll that'll wake people up. <laughs> you know, when you start sharing money, then you know if something's gonna, you know. Well, let's just say things come out. <laughs> okay, we'll say that. Uh, plus, you know, and even with two weeks, you can't get to know living with somebody in two weeks. But I'm just saying, find find ways where you can kind of replicate reality to see if you really want to commit to that reality before you really are committing to it okay in any aspect so where can you you know can you shadow somebody else who's doing this a similar thing can you um you know again like maybe network talk to people how they've done it how is that you know try it out for we get a free trial on something you know and see if it's going to work for your company that sort of thing so where can you find better opportunities is is another question and um you know that, that sort of thing so um and i believe what you want already exists all right so let me see about i'd like to get you a lot of sort of details if i can i'm hearing oh i just heard patricia and then i also heard myers and something about a milestone okay and now as always happens as like a joke from the universe when i'm trying to do um you know a reading that's not about love romance pops in so love is set to sizzle the chance for romance is high for those seeking a connection <laughs> okay that does not seem to fit in the reading, but it's somebody's message. It came in and then you have luck. A sudden change of like, luck is likely. You know, this is about things working out in your favor. It's a great time, again, for networking. Networking keeps coming in. There's just something, though, again, about... I can't get away from it, it seems, to just for some of you, make sure, at least for peace of mind, 
there's just like a caution throughout this reading of making sure you're seeing things for what they truly are. And that includes yourself and your own abilities, Libra. All right. Let's get you another oracle. You have um, card five. I listen to the voice of my body. It lets me know exactly what I need. So this is about, um, you know, grounding your energy, being in contact. What I love is that we started out with an empress in reverse and now we're finishing up with this, lo what looks like an empress in the upright. Okay, there's a lot of flower here. There's a whole city there. There's water. There's like everything you could want right there. And then there's a bear here. And that has to do with, I feel it has to do with this like mothering kind of energy. You've got that moon again. So I feel like once once all this has happened, this week could be a very informative week. It could be um, for some of you, not for all of you, but it's going to, there's going to be some kind of like I almost feel like there's a big lesson this week and you're going to be proud of how you how you handled it in the end. That's what it seems like to me. There's something about your discipline, your responsibility, how you handle things, uh, the ability to pivot if needed, the ability to, um, you know, take things at face value for what they are and, and maneuver accordingly. Um, but but definitely taking care of yourself, um, getting in touch with your biggest resource source and asset, yourself, your body. Um, your body, your mind, your spirit. So this is about, you know, being in tune with those messages. Certainly seek professional help if needed, medical assistance, whatever. Um, I'm not not here for that. Um, but this is very much a nurturing energy. This is very much about uh, grounding and physical healing. Um, the bear also reminds us to take the time to enjoy the, the sweetness of life. You know, bears love honey. And it's the time to, um, to really kind of like listen to and merge different experiences I'm getting, all right? Again, just like we've been talking about, how do you go forward hand in hand with everything, with what you know, accepting all of it for what it is, right? So so that's that's a big part of this reading today. I wanna to get another card um, from the, the Amer African Goddess Rising Oracle. I love this and it's always very clear. Um, oh my goodness, and then again, you have, so you have this woman who's pregnant here, and there are flowers, and there's the moon, and all that, so this is Allah, this is about grief, okay, card 29, but the message with Allah is, you know, you being supported by your loved ones, you, um, in, in, those seen and unseen, okay, the message with this card is also, it's about self-love, self-care being required, you know, the empress, in order to give birth, like, you have to, you know, take good care of yourself while you're, while you're expecting this new life, right, so making sure you're doing that, ask for support, be gentle with yourself, be compassionate, um, you know, this also can sometimes indicate holding on to unprocessed grief. So um, grief won't go away just because we ignore it, right? And uh, red flags and problems, they don't go away if we just because we ignore it, okay? And grief comes in all forms. It comes, you know, after, after a job, a divorce, uh, uh, any kind of loss, uh, any kind of disappointment, right? Um, so not just after a, a death, an actual physical death. So the only way of healing is to face it and walk through it. So again, very much a, a message of, um, of facing up to things and surrendering denial if, if needed. All right. Um, and next, let me see if we have, let's get you some animal cards, close out the reading. Make sure we get them all in there. So you have all of them at a chance to get any of them here. What else does Libra need to know for the greatest highest state of Libra? If there's like a hiccup in a romance, really romantic relationship, I do feel there's that chance to go forward, but do so carefully. It's almost like remember this happened, but you know, you, you have the okay to move forward. Just remember something happened and in case it becomes a pattern, but you're not holding on to something just kind of oh, well, we'll store that away, you know, wouldn't, wouldn't want to be in denial. Now, this card is not even supposed to be in this deck. You have sunshine, prosperity, and love with the Kingfisher. Wow, that's a completely different deck. Okay, then, and out of all of these cards, it fell out. So this is, this is still a good week. I know it was probably a little bit of a different reading here. You know, it's not all sunshine rainbows, but, you know, I try to be realistic in these readings. Um, and oh three numbers 1818 909 
and 66. So creativity here, you know, life flows with love, abundance, opportunity. I'm going to say awesome authenticity too. 1818, a sign of great things to come. This is about being motivated to achieve more. And this is 909, a sign of good luck. So this thing's changing in a positive way. Um, all right. So I hope this week treats you well. And thanks for being here, Libra. Consider subscribing, liking, sharing, if you would, I'd appreciate it. And thank you to all my subscribers. You helped me reach that 1000 sub goal I had by the end of uh, 2023. So thank you for that.